My name is Madison Croft, I'm 17 years old and uh, I've just handed over my international title as Miss Teen Continent in Las Vegas. So uh, apart from pageantry and modelling and acting, I'm a PT, I just started up my own business and my platform is all about healthy living, how to help live a healthy lifestyle, not just your diet but exercise and your mental health, so that's, that's what I stand for. I think I wouldn't change any of them because each experience you go through, no matter how low, how high, you learn something from it and, and it, that's what makes me need today. Uh, probably going through bullying at school. Um, I went through that for a little while and I pushed past it. Luckily for me, I had my family and my mum, who's my best friend, there to support me through all of it. Um, helps me get through it and I'm in a better place now for it. I want to empower other women. I want to empower young women to feel confident and be empowering for each other. If you see someone that you aspire to be or who inspires you, not to bring them down but to learn from them how to be like that. And I think that uh, one thing at the moment with young women is that when we see someone we want to be like, we don't encourage that. Uh, we try and bring them down to make us feel better, but we need to encourage that and that's what's going to help us honestly feel like that. Um, I think that you can't really judge the pageant um, until you've been involved in one. Uh, I know myself, I did not know what it was about until I started. Um, I know you see all the stuff on social media and everything on television, like toddlers and tiaras, but it's nothing like that, honestly, everyone thinks it is. But it's, it's one place where many women from all around the world or all around your country get together to empower each other and we all have the same morals and it's an amazing The last time I said a lie. Ooh. Um. <laughs> the last time I said a lie. I said a lie. Come on. Probably just hurt of family going through illnesses and things like that. Seeing people, people not be happy with themselves is just horrible to watch and horrible to experience. But. Um, if you are in that position, you just have to be there for them and support them. Well, I joined because I heard that it was women empowering women and um, my mum encouraged me to enter my first one when I was 14 um, and I did it and I loved it and I begged her to keep going and here I am, 17, nearly 18, still, still going, still making her still making her let me enter more. <laughs> Maybe if someone thought that you weren't being yourself, then that's probably hard to uh, cop, but as long as you're confident in yourself and you know on the inside that you are being who you are, then you've just got to stick with it. Um, I honestly th I find my happy happiness is being family happy, so as long as my family is happy, it's, it's, that's me. I haven't had anyone too close to me leave or uh, anything like that, but I would say that when I go overseas myself and my mum, um, we really do miss our family. I have a, a brother and a sister and my father. Um, I'd say the same person, I'm still my quirky, confident self. Um, maybe it has just brought me out of my shell a little bit more, but I am who I am. So. Stay strong, you've got this, and keep doing what you're doing because this path is going to lead you in the right way. Drama.
break here. Probably joking around, <laughs> never taking anything too seriously. Oh, I don't swear. No. Can I say much? Like the avocado. Can I get eight hours? Last night, this morning, right before this. <laughs> 